the Kenya Constitution 2010 ushered in a devolved system of government. The Commission on Revenue Allocation was birthed by this constitution under Article 215 and is mandated to determine, publish and regularly review a policy in which it sets out the criteria by which to identify marginalized areas for purposes of sharing revenue from the Equalization Fund. Education is universally accepted as a basis for material advancement and enhancing one's prospects in employment, job advancement, salary, and even status. For Kenyans to compete with their peers in education, training, research and innovation for sustainable development, there is need for affirmative action for all children to access education, no matter their location. While developing the second policy identify marginalized areas, the Commission analyzed data related to primary and secondary school attendance and visited areas to identify the ones that are most marginalized. During visits to marginalized areas, the Commission witnessed a myriad of problems that plague the education sector which need prioritization funding to give children in these areas an opportunity to access education. For many children living in marginalized areas, education remains a distant dream due to high levels of poverty, harsh terrain, poor infrastructure, adverse weather conditions, and sparsely dispersed schools. Furthermore, in some areas, Young children wake up as early as 4 a.m. to begin their trek to the few available schools. Kutoka hapa paka shule ni mbali sana. Kijiji ambayo inaitwa village 10 inasoma hapa. Kusomesha watoto mwenyewe ni shida. Kupeleka paka sekondar huwa hatuna uwezo kabisa. For over 45 30 years hivi shule bado ni nzuri. Watoto Wanatoka hapa kwenda kule nyuma iko mahali inaitwa Kalkacha 3 km. Huko ni mbali na shule. Kuna kuna wanyama kama mandovu hapa. Kuna fisi, kuna chui na wanyama wengine ambao ni hatari kwa watoto. Shule ambayo iko karibu ingine iko 25 km away. Ingine iko 40 mara lapa. Hakuna shule within the sublocation. Sasa, enrollment hakuna vile ita increase kama shule hakuna uko. Other challenges affecting education standards include lack of boarding facilities and teachers are inadequate. Kuna watoto ambaye wame, wame tosha kuenda shule, lakini shule enyewe hakuna. Wasaidie kujenga shule ya boarding, kwa sababu watu wetu ni watu ya kuwa maama, the government has put effort in developing infrastructure in schools, but many in marginalized areas continue to grapple with poor infrastructure that hampers smooth learning. For instance, schools in Tulkana and Kilifi have some of the poorest infrastructure and this has led to these areas generally lagging behind in education. In areas like Hola in Tana River and Elwak in Mandera, children spend most of their childhood looking after livestock. This deters them from attending school. Migration also affects education in these parts of the country, as families are forced to migrate in search of pasture without consideration of school-going children. Most of the time, wengine wengi wana, wanataka sana kwa ama na imatoto wakitafuta lisha kwa mifugo yao. So inakuwa ni ngumu kwa ambia tena warudi wakae wakiangalia shule peke yao huko mifugo yao ama maisha yao ikiangabia. Education is one of the most effective ways to combat early childhood marriages among girls. Niko darasa atatu. Cultural practices such as early marriages and pregnancies, however, 
adversely affect education of the girl child in marginalized areas. Hila ichanga wanasema hiyo ni ngombe imesimama. Ndio maana unapata huyo mtoto kuna stages akiwa anaelekea. Wakati akiwa 4 years kuna tuchanga kidogo anafalishwa. Akifika 6 kuna hali ya marriage sikifika 10 huyo ni mwanamke ya mtu. Niko darasa la 6. Ningependa kusoma niwe mwalimu. Nitasaidia watu kusoma watoto. Darasa la kwanza, la pili, la tatu ni wengi. Ni wengi kweli. Lakini wakifika darasa la nne, ambapo sasa wamefika hicho kiwango cha miaka 12, 10 mpaka 14 hapo. Uh, wengi wanapashwa tohara, mapema wanaoleka na inakuwa ni changamoto hasa kuna kuvunja mwalimu e, moyo kwa masomo hata unapata ingawa tunasema iko juu lakini sio ile kiwango cha wengine Having recognized the challenges faced by marginalized communities the commission in the second policy identify marginalized areas recommends the establishment of boarding schools as this will improve educational standards in marginalized areas this is because boating facilities protect children from walking long distances, reduce exposure to cultural practices, and shields children from attacks by wild animals. Watoto wakiwa wakati manyatara wako mbali, wanaitaji mali ya kulala, indio tulijenga madomsi ya mabati mbili, ya wavulana na ya wazichana. There is also a need to ensure that dilapidated school infrastructure, inadequate teachers, early marriages and nomadic pastoralism are addressed. This will give children from marginalized areas an opportunity to access education, which will bring them closer to those from less marginalized areas, thereby helping create equity in education.